today I'm here with a new video and today I am finally here with a free looks one palette. As you may know, I love to do these videos, but it takes quite a long time for me to do them because it is a lot to film, a lot to edit. But now I am finally here and I have asked you for help again and I put up in my community tab when I want to do a new free looks one palette and uh, this time I was like, okay, I want to do with one of the monochromatic palettes from Colourpop. So I put down all the five I have and the winner was Blue Moon and I'm so happy for this. It first looked like it was going to be Oolala and I was like, maybe yeah, but then Blue Moon won and I was like, yes. So I can leave my first impression up here. I almost think I've done a first impression with this. And it looks like this. I really, really like this. Blue isn't something that I love super much. Um, so I'm just going to do three looks with this. And I will leave all the timestamps down in the description if you just want to see one of the looks. Or if you want to see a little review in the end. Or whatever. So, whatever. So... I think we just hop into this. So for the first look, I think I want to do something easy and I'm thinking about only using like two shades, maybe three. And I haven't used these two shades, so I want to use them in a look and I think I just want to do it as simple as I can. I'm not an advanced girl when it comes to makeup. So I will start with Dabba D, <laughs> this one, and put it in my crease. Okay, I think this can be... That I have to build it up. This is like a palette I didn't thought I was going to like, because blue isn't my favorite, but I think... I really like this palette. I ranked this really high in my ranking my Colourpop palettes. Okay, so I like this shade. It's it's not like I maybe wished it was a little bit brighter, but nothing to complain about. But you have to build it up if you want like this intensity, but. Nothing strange about that. And then I just think that I will put Billie Jean, this one, all over my lid. And I hope that this goes really good on brush and it looks like that. It feels like most of Colourpop's 9 pen palettes. Or the monochromatic palettes are really good when it comes to shimmers. And this one as well. I think I will try to take it a little bit up on my crease shade. Yeah, okay, this I... It is a nice shade, but it feels a little bit like flat for a shimmer. I don't know if you get what I mean, but it feels kind of like dull. It's a really nice shimmer, but it feels a little bit... That was that. Okay, I think I maybe want to go in with this dark one. That's what I'm mad about you, but that is a shimmer. Because I want to do it a little bit deeper. Maybe this mad about you. More than this. So I'm taking this one and put it out here. And I, I take this fluffy big brush from Linda Hallberg. This is maybe a bad idea. Oh, no, it's not. Ooh. This looks pretty cool. Over the shimmer. It's like this shimmer pops through a little bit. 
Maybe not what I wanted though, because I wanted to have it darker. I think I maybe should have gone in with the blue and then the shimmer, not the shimmer and then the blue, but I wanted to try to only take the shimmer on my lid. Okay, so I think I will have the lids like this, so I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then we do something to the under eyes, and I'm actually thinking that I will do maybe the same, or maybe take the this one that I had in my crease just under my eyes. I don't know, with an inner corner highlight. I don't think so, but I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I'll come back. Okay, so for my under eyes, I'm thinking taking this one that I had in my crease and then deepen it down with this one. Just to keep it like this. So good at explanation things. Explanation things. Explaining. Maybe I should just sip it. Maybe I should just do videos with like music over. Okay, so I take this and do 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 It feels like I want to pop something in my inner corner. But at the same time, I like do that all the time. So I just think I'm going up with this. I can't have an inner corner highlight in everything I do. Now I'm starting to think about what should I take for lipstick to this. I have no idea. I think blue is hard for me. I could always take a red, but... Um, yeah. We will see. And then I go in with... On this one. Just to deepen it down a little bit. Around here. So, something like that. I will put on something in my waterline. I think I will take Prance from Colourpop. Put on a mascara and try to use Lippy. And then I come back again. Okay, so... For my waterline I used Prance from Colourpop and on my lips I actually took a new lippy. I finally bought a Nabla's Black Champagne that is a black and I always want to use black lips but I don't have anything good but I love Nabla so I took it. So this is my first look with the Blue Moon palette and I have used... Should I maybe try to pronounce the names. I use Dabadi, Billie Jean, Cloud in, Clued in, Cloud, Clued, Clued in. I think it was only do those three. Yeah, so this is my first look with the Blue Moon palette and I like it. I, I feel that Mabel looks kind of purple. I like it though, but it's going to be fun to do something really really blue. So yeah, I really hope you like this look and if you want to see the other two looks just keep on watching. Okay, so it's time for the second look and it's like storm outside, so if you hear something it's storm right out. Ow, outside, <laughs> outside. So I am doing the second look with the blue moon palette from Colourpop. Uh, it looks like this if you didn't know and today I am going to do a halo eye so yeah I have swatched a little thinking of what I want to do I will start with this one moonlit and take it in my crease I I can't remember which colors I have used in this palette. I think I should have looked on my first impression before I did this just to see what I did in my first impression, but... Yeah. 
I think it's pretty like it doesn't get it's not that okay what I'm trying to say <laughs> it's not like super opaque but you can build it up and I don't feel that it's like too dark when you build it up it still is pretty light and I like that I think something like that. So for my crease, I think I am like that. And for my halo, I want to do something pretty dark. So I'm going to take Mad About You, this dark shimmer and this tide pool. And yes, I want to do an all shimmer halo eye. And I like to do that. So... I'm just going to do it. So I start with Mad About You and take it on my outer corner. And we're going to see how my halo eye is today, my halo eye skills. Uh, not good. I never do this. I always do one eye at a time. But I was like going to try something new and it went like shit. Like how am I not better at this? Okay, now it's really stormy outside. I don't know if you can hear it but I think you can. And it was when I drove home from work, it was like hard <laughs> to keep the car on the road. Something like that actually. And then I'm going to take a tide pool in the middle. And what I can remember, this is really pigmented. So I'm not going to take any glitter glue. And I remember correctly. I hope that this is a good combo. I actually don't know. Maybe I should have gone in with a dark matte shade. But no. I think this works. How does this look? I think I will go in with a mad about you a little bit more just out here. also in here okay I think I really like this it doesn't feel like my eyes look that similar but maybe they do my eyes have a different different shapes, so yeah. Okay, I actually think that I am happy like this. This tide pool, I love it. So I will fix my base and then I come back and we do something to the under eyes and I'm going to try to take a lip for this. I hate to pick a lip when I do something blue to my eyes because I don't know what to pick but yeah I'm going to fix my base and then I come back so base is on and time for under eyes and I think I'm just going to go in with fine china this one and just have it on my whole lower lash Okay, so I think I am happy with eyes like this. I think at least I don't want to do something in my inner corner. No, I don't think so. 
no, I have it like this. So I'm going to put something in my waterline, put on mascara and a lippy, and then I come back with a finished <clears throat> second look. So this is the finished look I used for my waterline. A new pen from LA Girl. This is electric. I really like this. And for my lips, I first used Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in November, and then I took a Lucid Lip from Kaleidos in Crystallize over don't know what i think because i sticky lips is not my thing yet so yeah this is my second look with the blue moon and i have used moonlit this one tide pool mad about you and fine china and i i like this look i think i've done something similar with the whale song palette it might have been but yeah i really like this look and i hope that you're looking forward to the last look i think i actually know what i want to do so yeah if you want to see the last look just keep on watching so it's time for the third look with the blue moon palette from colourpop and i don't think i know what i want to do i want to use like not to do my makeup as I usually do. Not a new technique, but put on the colors in different ways. What? <laughs> we will see how it goes. So I will just start and... Uh, I will start with Starry Eyed in my crease. And we'll see how this looks. I think I used this in my first impression, but I haven't used it in this Free Looks 1 palette yet. But I am going to use all the colors. Not in this look, but in this Free Looks 1 palette. I am going to use all of them. So like that and then I want to go in with fine shiner and just deepen down my crease a little bit. Just like define it in here. Just because I like to do this. So something like that. I think it's enough. And okay, I want to go in with I don't know how to the right pronunciation with this. Cloud in, clued in, cloud in. And take it on my outer corner of my little eye. And I don't feel that this maybe is the best blue ever. I think it's a little bit drying. Dry, a little bit dry, but... It's not the worst blue... Bleh, bleh, bleh. It's not the worst blue either, so... Yeah. And the blue is a hard color to make, I know. It feels like this one is... I like all the other colors so much, but this is just... It's not my favorite. And then I want to go in with Sorry Eyed, this one that I had in my crease and put it in here as well. Because I first was thinking about only take this Lumi, but that is more like a topper shade, so I don't think... It will be possible to put it on its own. Or maybe if I... If I cut a half cut crease... Maybe it will work. Maybe I should try that and see. Because first my plan was to take Starry Eyed to put it here and then put Lumi on top. But maybe I will try to cut my crease with 
NYX Glitter Primer and see if it works. I think I actually will do that. I think this is working. It does. So okay, I'm happy that I tried this first. And okay, this looks like I wanted it to look. So that is good. I'm just going to take Lumi and take it out on the dark shade as well. And maybe go in with the brush that I had the dark blue on and take just a little bit more. I don't feel that I am like super good at get the blend right here. I think I actually really like this. So we do the same on the other eye. I really, really like this. And this was kind of what I was imagining it to look like. Super dark and super bright in the same look. I'll take a little bit more of the dark one. I just don't know about my crease. Right now, if I'm going to be honest, if I'm super happy about it, I don't think so. So maybe I... Okay, I think I will go in with this smaller brush and take fine china, just a little bit, and smudge it up here. Okay, and I think I'm happy like this. I am so happy that I tried to take Lumi on its own just with a uh, glitter glue because I think this Turned out exactly as I wanted it. So I will take away the fallouts fix my base and my brows and then I come back and uh, We do the last to this look and we also I also give you my little review on this So yeah, I will fix this and then I come back. Okay, so for my under eyes, I think I want to go in with, I think I will take starry eyed and then maybe take fine china if I think this is too light, but I will start with this one and tap it off and then we go. And I'm thinking of what I want to have in my inner or on my waterline. I want to go in with fine shine out here, but I will put this on my lower lash on the other eye. And then I take fine shine and just put it out here. Okay, maybe I should take the darkest one. And then, okay, and I think I will take a Lumi and put it in my corner and actually think I will try with my little pinky. I usually don't do this, but I don't want it to be super, super like 
opaque. I just want a little bit of shimmer and I think this may works the best then. Okay, I think this might be my favorite look with this free look swan palette. So, okay, I will put on mascara, try to choose a lippy that has been like the hardest thing with this free look swan palette because what goes with blue except pink and I don't like pink lips that much. So I will take something in my line, put on mascara and try to find a lippy. So, okay, this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Prans from Colourpop. I think I used this in another look. And for my lips, I used a lipstick in Gold Digger. Also from Colourpop. And yeah, this is my third look with the Blue Moon palette. And I actually think this is my favorite look. I really like how Lumi it's both like white and blue. Really, really, really like that. And... I think this lips works with the eyes, so yeah, I am happy with this look. I think it turned out really good. So I think we hop into the review and what I can say about this, I haven't played with a lot of blue shades because I don't like blue shades that much. Blue isn't my color. I don't think it suits me that well. And I, f and I think like in some way I look paler when I have blue eyes, so. But this palette I really really like. It is, I think it's a good, like variation because I like more. More shimmery blues and more lighter blues. I usually like dark shades a lot, but. And this one I really like that it's got some darkers and I think this palette overall is really good quality. The one shade I think is a little bit tricky is this Clued In. Cloud In. Clued In. Sorry. And yes, blues are more difficult to work with or to formulate, I know that, but... For me that haven't played with blue that much, I don't know if this is like super bad or if it is like normal blue. I think the pigmentation is that if a little <laughs> I think the pigmentation is there, but I think it's really hard to uh, smudge it out. I can put it down, but then it like got stuck stuck on there and I think that is pretty common for blue, so I don't know if this is like super bad or if it's an okay blue but that is like the only shade i have complaints about this fine china i really really love it it is really like blue and it's it's so easy to work with and also this tide pool i love this one so yeah if you want to try blue i think this is a super good palette to start with because it is only $12, it's a good variation of shimmers and dark and light blues and also some... I really like these two, that these are in the palette and yeah, I think this is an all over good palette. One thing though <laughs> that bugs me with this, I know I can fix it myself and now maybe I can't show you but... If you didn't know, in Colourpop you can take out all the colors from the palettes, at least these palettes, because they are like magnet strips behind the colors. And the one in the middle, <laughs> the glue has... It's not stuck anymore. It's a little bit loose. So these two shades, Tide Pool and Starry Eyed, they almost like pop out, so I have to push them down. But it's just my palette, it has nothing to do with the palette, but that annoys me a little bit. Other than that, I have nothing to complain about this at all. I really like it and it has been fun to do free blue looks because I don't do them that often. And maybe this year I'm going to like find blue. Last year I really found green and maybe blue is my new thing. So yeah, 
I don't know what more to say. I really like this palette and I can really recommend it. And I think that it's good both if you want to try blue or if you love blue. Because this is a really good palette. It's only this darker blue I have a little bit problems with. But it's workable. It's just that you have to work harder than on the other shades. So yeah, I really hoped you liked this free looks one palette. Which one was your favorite look? I think this is my favorite. I really like though the second look, the halo eye. But I think this actually is my favorite because it's a little bit brighter. It's I just like it. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!